the four most important questions of a good lesson plan. As an English teacher, we have to learn many ways of teaching. One of the most important skills is to learn how to plan a lesson. For writing a lesson plan, some teachers like to use formal plans, some take down notes while others write details into their notebooks. So, what exactly is a good lesson plan? Four aspects should be taken into consideration. What is a lesson plan? First and foremost, what is a lesson plan? A lesson plan is a plan that you make for the lesson you want to teach. It is an aid to planning which you need to write down what you want your students to achieve at the end of the lesson, how can you teach the lesson and how can you control the time. Besides, a lesson plan is also a working document that you can keep your teaching aim on and what you can refer to. What's more, a lesson plan is a record of your class as well. What you have done and what materials you have used in a class are recorded. Why make a lesson plan? Secondly, why should teachers make lesson plans? A lesson plan is very important for teachers to conduct a lesson especially for new teachers. When a new teacher teaches a lesson, it is better for him or her to have a general idea of what he or she is going to teach and specific details about what activity he or she is going to carry out according to each teaching phase. Although some experts say that a fixed lesson plan is not flexible to conduct the class, however, a lesson plan does help teachers in many ways. How to organize your lesson plan Thirdly, what can be included in a lesson plan? It should be divided into three parts. The first part should include teacher's name, time of the class, date of time, class level, classroom number and the expected number of students. These will give teachers a clear idea about who will teach the class, how long is the class, when is the class, which level of students the teachers are going to teach where are you going to teach and how many students will be in the class. The second part should include the language point, teaching aid, learner objectives, teacher's personal aim, anticipated problem for students and teachers, and the solutions. For this part, teachers will have the teaching ideas about the target language he or she is going to teach, what aids can be used during the class what he or she wants students to achieve at the end of the class, what aspect he or she wants to improve and what problems both the teachers and students may face and how to solve the problem. The third part should include the procedure, phase, timing and interaction. This part shows what procedure teachers are going to follow when delivering the class, what phase teachers are going to teach with what activity how long each activity is and who the students interacting with. What is a good lesson plan? Fourthly, what is the principle of a good lesson plan? A good lesson plan should be simple and concise. When making a lesson plan, teachers should not write too much or script the lesson. Moreover, the structure of the lesson plan should maintain the same. And there should be the time of each activity written down in the margin. Also, Teachers need to make sure each activity fits each phase in order to make the lesson flow smoothly. Are you ready to start teaching English abroad? Last but not the least, a good lesson plan can help teachers in many ways when teaching classes. But teachers need to be flexible when using a lesson plan to teach in class because a good lesson plan with flexibility of teaching can make a good class. Speak with an ITTT advisor today to put together your personal plan for teaching English abroad. Send us an email or call us toll free at 1-800-490-0531 to speak with an ITTT advisor today.